Now a while back, Heather asked me if I had any spare coins and artefacts and so on to give to one of her relatives who really loved to collect that sort of thing and was interested in metal detecting, so I sent her some stuff out, coins and artefacts and so on, and she sent me this back in return. And I hope there's not much in here because I don't, I feel awful about getting gifts and things. So I'm going to open this and you're going to see it as I see it. <laughs> oh my! Little... I don't know what they are. They look like little cat toys and that's rather fortuitous because I have got a little kitten which we rescued from the side of the road. He will absolutely love playing with those so he does thank you from the bottom of his black evil heart. Oh, there's another one. Ugh. Oh, what? There's a couple of lollipops there. And they've got scorpions in them. They look like real scorpions as well. Yeah, they're obviously real ones because they've got the stingers removed. Scorpion sucker. Now I wonder whether you give these to kids who you want to wean off sweet things because they'll take a look at that and go, Jesus Christ, I'm not eating that. I'll give it to my kids. One blue and one pink. I've got a boy and a girl, so I'll see what they think of these. <laughs> That's awesome, I've never seen that before. Now this makes me laugh. And it actually looks quite warm as well. Daniel Boone hat. With a raccoon tail on the back. When I was younger and I used to go grouse beating, that's marching around over the moors chasing grouse towards the guns, I used to actually have a raccoon tail on the back of my hat and I used to get called Crockett. So this hat suits me perfectly. And if I wear this at the place where I used to go grouse beating, they'll no doubt say, you've never taken that hat off in the last 30 years. <laughs> That's class, I love it. It looks almost like a cat. I better not leave this lying around the house, otherwise my cats may well attack it. Here we've got a Bigfoot rescue kit, which has got a little cuddly Bigfoot in there, and also a book as well. There's our little mini Bigfoot. The kids will love that because they still collect cuddly toys, even at their ages of 13 and 10. And there we've got a little care booklet as well, of how to care for our little baby Bigfoot. It looks like a Native American item. It'll probably have some sort of significance. I thought it was a dream catcher at first because that's the only Native American thing I know in my ignorance. Um, but it's made of tiny little beads, like that. Somebody's taken the time to make that. Very nice. Now all I need to do is grow about a foot taller and I'd look like a proper Red Indian. Although I don't think there's many baldy Red Indians. And lastly, ah, I've just mentioned it. A little dream catcher. Although with some of the strange Dreams I have, I'm not sure this thing would want to catch any of them. Best just let them go. I absolutely love it, thank you very much. Oh, speak of the devil, here he is. Here he is, my little witchy's cat. Are you going to go and play? Is that good, Angus? What do you say? Do you say thank you? Where are you going? Thank you very much for sending all that stuff. There was really no need at all to send that. But I do thank you very much. And, and my kids will thank you as well for their great stuff. Thank you again. There's a red one and a blue one. Oh, please, no. <laughs> I think you can eat it. It's all edible. We're not bad grills, you know. <laughs>
<laughs> it was given to me as a present by a lady in America. Can it eat in her mouth? Yeah. No, so it's got no sting on, though. Scorpion flavour. I reckon scorpions might taste quite nice. I haven't tried it yet, but I broke the corner off and it's got the claw in the corner. This is like... <laughs> 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 Crispies are the bits from the edge of the pot.